25 Real Versus Fake Car Mods Are you a car enthusiast looking to enhance your vehicle's performance? With the vast array of options available in the car tuning market, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and confused. This video aims to guide and clarify those new to car modifications. Whether you want to make your car faster or understand the terminology better, this video will help you navigate the maze of performance upgrades. Let's delve into 25 popular car mods, distinguishing between those that genuinely impact performance and those that fall short. Genuine and Placebo Performance Chips, also known as Engine Control Unit ECU, tuners or programmers, modify the engine's computer settings to improve performance. While some performance chips offer genuine improvements in horsepower and torque, others may have little to no impact. Natural performance chips are typically designed and tested by reputable manufacturers and can provide noticeable gains in power and throttle response. Placebo chips, on the other hand, often marketed as inexpensive and universal solutions, may fail to deliver the promised results. It's crucial to research and choose performance chips from trusted brands, considering factors such as compatibility, user reviews, and Dano tested performance data, to ensure you're investing in a simple and effective upgrade. Roof Spoiler and Vortex Generators Roof spoilers and vortex generators are aerodynamic modifications often added to cars to enhance their visual appeal and improve airflow around the vehicle. A roof spoiler is typically mounted on the rear edge of the roof to reduce drag and improve stability at high speeds. It helps redirect airflow, reducing turbulence and improving downforce. Vortex generators, on the other hand, are small fins or tabs installed on the rear roof or rear window. They work by disrupting the airflow and creating small vortices that can improve their attachment to the vehicle's rear, reducing drag and increasing stability. While these modifications can have a visual impact, their effectiveness in terms of performance improvement is often limited, especially on street-driven vehicles at legal speeds. Top Intercooler versus Front Intercooler Intercoolers play a crucial role in turbocharged or supercharged engines by cooling the compressed air before it enters the engine. They help increase power output and improve engine efficiency. Two standard intercooler configurations are top mount intercoolers TMICEs, and front mount intercoolers FMICEs. TMICEs are positioned at the engine close to the turbocharger or supercharger, and provide shorter piping lengths for improved throttle response. However, they are more susceptible to heat soak due to their proximity to the engine. FEM ICEs, on the other hand, are mounted at the front of the vehicle, often in the bumper or behind the grill, allowing for greater cooling capacity and reduced heat soak. They require longer piping lengths, which can slightly increase turbo lag. The choice between a TMIC and FMIC depends on factors such as the level of performance desired, the available space in the engine bay, and the driving conditions. It's essential to consider these factors and consult experts to determine the optimal intercooler configuration for your vehicle. Short RAM Intake versus Cold Air Intake Upgrading your car's intake system is a popular modification for improving engine performance. Short RAM Intakes SRIs and cold air intakes CEAIs, are standard options. SRIs replace the factory air box and filter with a shorter intake tube and a cone-shaped filter, often positioned in the engine bay. They provide increased airflow and a more aggressive engine sound, but the intake air is drawn from the warmer engine bay, which can slightly decrease performance. CE80Is, on the other hand, use a longer intake tube and position the filter in a location that allows cool outside air to be drawn in, typically from the front of the vehicle. This cooler air can significantly improve performance, especially in hot weather. Throttle Body Spacer versus Ported Throttle Body Regarding improving engine performance, two standard options are throttle body spacers and ported throttle bodies. Throttle body spacers are typically made of aluminum or plastic and are installed between the throttle body and intake manifold. They aim to create a larger plenum volume, believed to improve airflow and increase horsepower. On the other hand, a ported throttle body involves modifying the internal passages of the throttle body to optimize airflow. 
This can include enlarging the throttle blade opening and smoothing out the surfaces for better air intake. While throttle body spacers are relatively easy to install and can provide some performance gains, the impact is often minimal. Ported throttle bodies require professional modification and can significantly improve throttle response and power delivery. Future Proofing – The Benefits of Planning when modifying your car for performance, it's essential to consider future upgrades and developments. Planning can save you time, money, and potential compatibility issues. For example, if you upgrade your turbocharger, consider improving the supporting components, such as the intercooler and exhaust system, to maximize performance gains. Similarly, if you're installing a high-performance intake system, ensuring your engine management system can accommodate the increased airflow is wise. By taking a holistic approach and considering the long-term goals of your build, you can make informed decisions and avoid the need for costly revisions or compatibility challenges down the line. Intake fan is marketed as an electric supercharger or leaf blower. Intake fans marketed as electric superchargers or leaf blowers claim to increase horsepower by improving airflow into the engine. However, the effectiveness of these devices in delivering actual performance gains is highly questionable. Electric superchargers are often small, battery-powered fans installed in the intake system, while leaf blowers are repurposed and adapted for this purpose. These devices do not generate enough airflow or pressure to increase power. Genuine turbochargers are complex systems requiring proper engineering and integration with the engine to deliver substantial performance gains. It's advisable to avoid intake fans marketed as electric superchargers or leaf blowers and instead focus on proven performance upgrades for your vehicle. Universal Spacer versus Hub-Centric Spacers Safety and Performance Hub-Centric Spacers are significantly safer and provide better performance compared to Universal Spacers. The term Hub-Centric is crucial as it prevents issues like wheel bouncing and ensures a safer driving experience. When buying wheel spacers, it is highly recommended to choose hub-centric ones for reduced vibration and improved safety. Straight pipe versus properly sized crossover piping. Many believe a large straight piped exhaust is the way to go, driven by YouTube clickbait and misconceptions. While it may offer the loudest sound cheaply, it is not ideal for power gains. The analogy of blowing air through a thin straw versus a large paper towel roll helps illustrate this. In cars with low horsepower, excessively large straight piping leads to inefficient airflow and reduced performance. Adding a properly sized crossover, such as an X or H pattern, maintains proper air pressure, improves efficiency, and increases torque and horsepower. However, this option is often more expensive and less attention-seeking, which may disappoint some individuals seeking unnecessary noise and attention. Lowering Springs versus Coilovers Lowering your car's ride height can enhance its appearance and improve handling. Lowering springs and coilovers are two popular options for lowering stances. Lowering springs are designed to replace the factory springs and provide a specific drop in ride height. They are generally more affordable, but offer limited adjustability. Coilovers combine springs and dampers in a single unit and provide a wide range of adjustability, allowing you to fine-tune ride height stiffness, and damping characteristics. While coilovers are often more expensive, they offer greater flexibility for customization and can deliver superior performance for spirited driving or track use. Consider your budget, driving preferences, and long-term goals when choosing between lowering springs and coilovers. Painting versus wrapping. When changing your car's appearance, two popular options are painting and wrapping. Painting involves applying a new coat of paint to the vehicle, providing a permanent and durable finish. It allows for greater customization and color options, but can be more expensive and time-consuming. Wrapping, on the other hand, involves applying a vinyl wrap to the car's exterior. It offers a wide range of colors and finishes, is relatively affordable, and can be easily removed without damaging the original paint. However, wraps may not last as long as a high-quality paint job and may be more susceptible to damage from external factors. Consider your budget, desired customization level, and long-term care plans when deciding between painting and wrapping. Bold treadless tires or drag slicks. Understanding the difference. 